Okay, so what is up, everybody on YouTube? This is once again Tubus Gaming HD second, and we're back in Farming Simulator 2017 right here. So I hope that there is a lot of you guys actually watching this right now. Um, I'm in the start screen of the game right here. That is actually because I saw something in the mod hub like just 30 minutes ago. If you go in here to the beta mod hub, I just downloaded this map right here, the Northwest Texas 4X actually. I think that the 4x means that it is four times bigger than the normal Northwest, Northwest Texas. So uh, we're basically going to take a look at this map right now. It's going to be a pretty big look on, or kind of like a pretty fast look on it because I, because I have to get on job like later today. So I'm just going to do this video like real quick of course. And um, this is from Texas. You can see that and it has a... Uh, it kind of like fills up 711 megabytes of space on your computer. This map was inspired by Northwest region of Texas, right off Highway 287. A region that is a history of cowboys, cattle and agricultural wealth. So I just installed it right there, it took me like uh, 10 minutes or something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and start it out right now, I think that would be a pretty good idea just go ahead and check it out because it is definitely going to be a map that we're actually going to use for example the big bot 747 in definitely looking forward to that dlc actually coming to the game so uh, let's start it out right now i'm just going to go ahead and do like that mr farmer everything is selected so let's start it out and let's see what we actually kind of like start out with in this map and let's see how the map actually looks like that would be pretty cool to actually get to see that so we're ready to start out right there. It, it's real quick right here on in the PC, of course. So let's take the map away. Oh my gosh. Let's take the map away right there. And let's take a look at my house. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is actually what you start out with in this game right here from the beginning. We have a uh, corn seeder right there. We have the normal seeder, both from Redestat. We have a baler we have a cultivator the biggest cultivator one of the biggest one of the biggest plow we have a big oh my god we have a big grass pickup right there a big orca wagon flegal wagons oh my god we have trucks in here you can see that two trucks right there we have a big workshop in here like a really big workshop um and uh, yeah, so let's get around right here. Over here we have some headers, you can see that. Oh my god, we have a lot of stuff in here and this map is pretty huge, I guess. Like really huge. But we're gonna take a look at that later. So this is actually the the kind of like tractors we start out with. We have the big case IHs right there. The big ones. We have, oh my god, we have the Optum right there. Two small case IHs. And then we have, okay, those are only like the small harvesters from Case IH, but really good, really good. Kind of starting out with two harvesters from the beginning in this map. That's pretty sick though. So yeah, and then we have some uh, kind of headers right there. It's actually the biggest header that you can get, isn't it? Uh, or is it not? One of the biggest actually, so it's uh, looking really good, that one. Uh, yeah, let's see what else we have. I'm just gonna shift from all the equipment right there. So this is actually what we have. We don't have a car from the beginning, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and buy a car then. We only start out with 25,000 of course, as always. So we're gonna go ahead and buy the pickup rodeo right there. And then I think that we should probably get down to the car. It's down here at the store. Okay, the store, where is it compared to my uh, farm? It's just down here. Okay, yeah. So, uh, kind of looking really good. That is actually a John Deere store. And I think that when you're in Texas right here, you have to either drive Case IH or John Deere, of course, because it's an American one. So I think that would be pretty appropriate to just go ahead and drive some of these right there. So uh, yeah. 
which way should I go? I think I'm just gonna go straight over right here. I don't know if this is actually my house. My house, my house. But uh, maybe, I'm just gonna park the car out here. Then I'm gonna take a picture of it because that is actually what I do when I start out in a new map. So this is the new picture right there, new thumbnail. Beautiful house right there, I gotta say. Just a small one basically, so it's not that big after all. But it's uh, it's pretty good looking, I just have to kind of say that. So let's get back in the car, let's turn on some cruise control and let's kind of thrill or go out and take a look at the map right here, that would be pretty cool. So uh, I have, I have uh, kind of, like I own field number 20, 29 and 28 from the beginning right here. But let's go ahead and see if we can find some of the bigger fields. I can see definitely the road right here is a highway. It's pretty huge. So uh, I'm gonna try to get down here, down to field number 14, which is probably the biggest field that we have in this map. And I wanna kinda compare it to the Rattlesnake Valley, which is also pretty huge. In here we have a lot of silos. I don't know what that is. I, it doesn't look like you can sell anything there in there, but uh, maybe you can, I don't know. So we're gonna go right right here, basically. And we're gonna go up to the field. I just wanna see how big the field actually is. I think it is pretty huge when we're gonna get up there, like really huge. So let's uh, see how that is actually gonna look. Full throttle down there, you can see this road right here is pretty long, it's just straight ahead. And there's a long way down to field number 14 actually. But I think that we're gonna find it over here on the left. Like some sometime. Yeah, should be if you're gonna go in here. We actually have field number 14. We have field number 14 right here and it is seeded with corn, as you can see. Let's check out how big it actually is from one way to another. Let's gonna check that out right now. Okay, it's pretty huge. And there is definitely some hills and different kind of stuff in here. That's looking really good. Okay, this, uh, this, is, uh, this is definitely one of the hugest fields that we have in this, uh, in this map right here, I guess. We're not even close to the end of the field actually, so... Uh, the end of the field is all the way down there. That's a long way. That's a really long way all the way down there, actually. Well, let's see if we can go down there and uh, take a look at it. So, I'm just gonna go a little bit further right here and then we should be down in the bottom of the field. And we are down in the bottom of the field right now, as you can see. This is actually the bottom. So this field is probably the biggest in the game. It's pretty goddamn huge. It's a huge field, like really huge. But it's not as big as the Rattlesnake Valley actually. Uh, the Rattlesnake Valley is a little bit bigger than this one, but still a big field. It definitely suitable for the big what 747 DLC that's coming to the game like in I think it's actually in seven days or something like that. So really looking forward for that DLC. Uh, I hope that you guys are also. Oh, what was that? Okay, okay, okay. So there were actually kind of some kind of mod hole right here. This is looking cool. I uh, I definitely been waiting for this, like really. So this is something great. So actually kind of like in the middle of a, of a mud hole right here, but it looks like you can actually get through it, like really. But let's get uh, let's get a little bit further down the mud hole. I'm going I'm going full throttle right now, like really full throttle, guys. But you can still kind of like go in it. You can still drive in it, but not that fast actually. Okay, now I'm probably stuck a little bit, maybe. No. But this is definitely something that I've been waiting for to actually try out and it is so cool. It is kinda like making the game a little bit more realistic, definitely. But I can't get out right here, I can't. Just gonna back it out right now. Okay, 
I'm stuck right here. I'm totally stuck, obviously. So I guess that might be a good time to actually end the video right here, guys. Oh my god, the car is totally broken down, as you can see. Jesus. Okay, so I'm probably gonna end this video right now. I have to go for, I have to go on job like in a half an hour or something like that. So uh, once again, thanks for watching, guys. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that, and post a comment down below if there is anything you want to know. Ask me about stuff like that. And then we're gonna see you guys in the next video tomorrow, of course. So yeah, bye.